Takashi has court date moved up. That's right. Everyone else in the case has had their court date moved back. And Takashi has had his court date moved up. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, I uh, be honest with you, I don't know if this should be an I told you so video or not, but we're not gonna make this an I told you so video. This is just gonna be a regular video. So apparently, six nines sentencing date has been moved so uh shout out to complex and uh sean satoro uh, sean satoro wrote a dope ass article as usual uh go check him out it's not that long it's short so you could just you know he's just the facts that's it all right so um i'm gonna read a couple of lines from the article i'm not gonna read the whole thing you're gonna have to go check out the whole entire article for yourself uh we're not stealing content all right, so uh, real quick, a couple of things I want to say. First of all, they're trying to expedite his sentencing hearing now after he's already stood trial. Now, if y'all remember, back in uh, the beginning of the year, in, in, in January, I believe, uh, right after he copped out, uh, he, okay, so basically, I'll just go through the steps real quick just so we could be clear on where, where I'm at, what I'm, where, what I'm talking about. Uh, they, had this, they had the hearing. He went to court. There was also a Curcio hearing on that same date. There was two hearings on that same date. Mel Murder, Mel Matrix, and Shadi was having a Curcio hearing because one of uh, Shadi's attorneys was going to then work on Mel Matrix's uh, case. So they had to have a Curcio hearing because you can't have a lawyer working uh, in for... When you have defendants in the same case, they're co-defendants. You can't have a lawyer working for one that used to work for the other because they're going to know private or they're going to know specific details might that might be pertaining to the case that they're actively in. And they can use those details in order to help their client and hurt the other one. So you have this thing called a Curcio hearing. And at the Curcio hearing, they determine whether it's okay basically for the the attorney to work with the other attorney and there's like a lot of things that they go through but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go through everything anyway so at this curcio hearing while they was having that specific one shoddy stands up and, and well shoddy tells his lawyer that basically six nines uh attorney i believe it's lance lazaro used to be shoddy's attorney for a couple of cases so you know there's a there's a problem there and then upon being told this Lance Lazaro was removed as counsel for uh, Takashi, uh, Takashi and I believe Dawn, uh, I forget her last name. I'm so sorry about that. My apologies. But I, be but I believe um, a different attorney was put to be the lead attorney for Takashi. Very next day, Takashi cops out. So right after that happened, I told everybody. I said, basically, what's going to happen is they're probably going to give him a year and a day. I said this on this channel. Another thing that I said was they're probably just going to, after the case is over, they're probably going to move the sentencing date and they're probably just going to give him time served because the only reason why they were holding him was because they wanted to make sure that they went to trial and, you know, whoever was going to go to trial, they went to trial and they needed him to testify or whatnot. And they were holding him mainly or partly because of security reasons. And also because he's no, he's actually partaking in crimes. So, you know, why are we going to let you go? Anyway, come to find out, they're going to now move his court date because the sentencing, because uh, the trial is actually over. So now they're going to move the court date. Um, I'm going to read the beginning of this article. Y'all got to go check it out. It's on the complex page. It's by Sean Sotaro. And he says, 6 9 finally has a day to look forward to. On Tuesday, Judge Paul Engelmeyer agreed to the request to move up the sentencing date for Daniel 69 Hernandez, the controversial rapper turned cooperating witness, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. The controversial rapper turned cooperating. Like, that, <laughs> Sean is a funny dude. Like, now that's his job. Like, you know, when you go to, like, I don't know, like, Dancing with the Stars, and they be like, this actor was once on the love boat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how they get to do Takashi. They're going to be like, this guy was once a rapper, but now he's known as a cooperating witness. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny as heck, y'all. That's a that's a whole that's a whole fact. Anyway, um, let me get back to this. All right, so okay, I'll start back over. <laughs> I'm busy laughing at that. Anyway, it says six nine finally has a day to look forward to. On Tuesday, Judge Paul Ingemeyer agreed to the request to move up the sentencing date for Daniel six nine Hernandez, the controversial rapper turned cooperating witness. Hernandez's fate will be determined on December eighteenth, two thousand nineteen, at ten a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It was previously set to occur January 24th, 2020. If you want to uh, see the rest of that, you're going to have to go to Complex, read the article for yourself. Anyway, um, real quick, uh, I want everybody to go down to the comment section and I want to, I'm going to ask you a question right now. And I want to know uh, who thinks that his date, no, it, who think it's fair for him to have his date moved up? I'm just curious who thinks that it's fair that he has his date moved up? He's basically did everything that the uh, uh, the government wanted him to do. And now they're going to give him the opportunity, I'm guessing, to get his sentencing over with. And second question, I want to know who thinks that he's going to get time served? Now, I'm about to explain to y'all why I believe he's going to get time served. Okay, so basically, they decided to expedite his sentencing. That means that there's a lot of paperwork that was put in. That means that the 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 uh, the prosecution, the, uh, the government had to agree with it, I believe. Also, the, um, the judge, as it just said, agreed to it. And, you know, his lawyers had to put in a lot of paperwork. So, this is most likely something, because for everybody that don't know, they have discussions of things, you know, they work, uh, part of work, part of court is making deals and working behind the scene. So there's a good chance that they already know that he's going to get time served. And that's realistically the only reason to move up the sentencing date. I mean, if, what, first of all, all time he's in there right now, he's already getting um credit for. So why are you going to be like, okay, we're going to move the sentencing date up about a month. And then you're going to be like, we're going to give you three years. Like, what? Why did you even move the date? You could have literally kept the date where it was because you, you, I'm still going to be here. So a reason why a lot of people, especially individuals that are involved with criminal justice, most likely is going to tell you that he's probably going to get time served is directly due to that fact. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for them to move the sentencing date up if they're going to then give him two, three years or something like that. It, look at everybody else's sentencing date. That's the best way to put it. Shadi had his sentencing date moved what? Back. Mel Matrix had his sentencing date moved what? Back. A lot of people had their sentencing dates moved back. Takashi is the only one to have his sentencing date moved up. So that right there should be enough to show that there is a better than good chance that Takashi 69 will be free after that day. Like on that day, I, that's going to, they, they're going to bang the gavel. He, he's going to say some stuff. Then he's going to bang the gavel. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm assuming that they still bang the gavel, <laughs> but he's going to bang the gavel. And then at that point, Takashi 69 is going to be a free man. He's going to walk out of court. And I look for there to be so many people at that particular court hearing I don't, they might have to hold it outside. Anyway, let's hope it don't rain. Anyway, I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Um, and yes, everybody that thinks that this isn't fair, please leave your comments also. But as everybody knows on this channel, we do not say the N word. And please uh, keep your, your, your uh, anger to at least only one profanity a comment, if you don't mind. Because you might put leave a really good comment and I might want to read it on the live stream and I won't read it because it's going to have too much profanity. So please, it, let's keep the profanity to a minimum and uh, comment. I want to know what y'all think about him being able to be let out early and the chance that you think that he might be let out early. 
That being said, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.